Hi guys, welcome to Sipnaya. No, in this video, I tutorial natin yung series natin on calculus. No, and sa previous video, I pinag-aralan natin kung paano ba kukunin yung maximum ng isang quadratic function, maximum or minimum. No, minimum yung pinakamababang point, sa kayo maximum yung pinakamataas na point. No, so I think sa first video natin ay minimum yung kinuha natin. So in this video maximum. No? Kailan nagkakaroon yung quadratic function ng maximum? Pag siya ay opening downward. No? Kasi pag uh, opening upward siya, if a is greater than 0, meron siyang minimum. Pero pag siya ay opening downward, meron siyang maximum. No? And sabi natin, sa maximum, ang tangent line niya ay horizontal. No? Makita niyo, kita niya naman sa ating uh, illustration. No? So, pag nag-horizontal siya, ibig sabihin, yun yung uh, maximum or minimum point. No? In this case, maximum siya kasi opening downward. So, sabi natin sa pag-aaral natin ng derivatives, ang derivative ay slope no? ng function or uh, another equivalent of saying that is slope siya ng tangent line. No? Meaning, um, pag kukunin natin yung maximum and minimum, we want to Uh, search for the point where the slope of the function or the slope of the tangent line is equal to zero. No? Ang slope ng horizontal line ay zero. So, ibig sabihin na hanapin natin yung point na yun na ang slope niya ay zero. No? Ang sabi natin sa pag-aaral natin ng derivative, again, uh, pag sinabi natin slope, it's the same as the derivative. No? Pag kinuha natin yung derivative ng isang function, kinukuha natin actually yung kanyang slope. No? So, if we want to find the slope of f of x equals negative 3x squared plus 18x minus 7, if we want to get the derivative or the slope of this function at any point, kailangan calculate natin yung derivative because the derivative is the slope. No? So, ulit-ulit ko yung sinasabi no? para uh, wag makalimutan. So, pagkuha ng derivative, we have f prime of x equals, paano natin kinukuha yung derivative nito? Pinamaba natin ito, di ba? So, magiging 2 times negative 3x. Uh, pag x squared, babawasan natin ang isa. So, x to the first power. Then, we have 18x. Ang derivative ng 18x is just 18. So, pag, pag yung x mo to the first power, babawasan mo ng isa yan. Lalagay mo yung 1 dito. So, magiging x to the 0 yan. Kaya, x to the 0 is equal to 1. Kaya, magiging 1 na yan. 1 times 18 is 18. Okay. So, ito yung derivative, which is um, negative 6x plus 18. So, this is the derivative or the slope. No? This is the slope of f at any point. Slope of the function at any point. Nahanap natin yung slope is equal to 0, meaning we equate this to 0. No? Saan ang point kung saan ang slope niya ay 0? So, negative 16x is equal to negative 18. Uh, subtract 18 from both sides, kaya naging ganito siya. Not, not 16, but 6. Sorry. And then... Divide both sides by 6, or by negative 6, x equals 3. So ito yung value ng x where the slope is equal to 0. Value of x where the slope of the function is equal to 0. Okay. X pa lang yan, pero hinahanap natin, coordinates, meaning we still have to look for the value of y. Saan ba yun hindi sa substitute? Dito or dito? Saan natin hindi sa substitute 3? Pag sinubstitute natin siya dito sa, sa uh, equation na to, it becomes a slope of a function at x equals 3. No? Slope yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. Pero hindi yun ang gusto natin, ang hinahanap natin yung value ng function at x equals 3. So dito tayo mag-substitute. Meaning, f of 
3 is equal to uh, negative 3 times 3 squared plus 18 times 3. So, sinabsitute ko lang dito. Minus 7. Sinabsitute natin yung 3 dito. So, this is equal to negative 3 times 9 plus 54 minus 7. Negative 27 plus 54 minus 7. Negative 27 tsaka negative 7 magiging negative 34 yan plus 54. So, this is equal to 20. So, f of 3 is equal to 20. Then y value ng function, di ba? Oh, this is the value of the function at x equals 3. So meaning, yung coordinates na inahanap natin ay 3, 20. Ito inahanap natin sa sagot mo. So check natin sa ating uh, grapher, no? Sa GeoGebra. We check the the function f of x f of x equals dapat ang, ang ano natin dapat ang maximum natin ito maximum uh, point f of x equals negative 3 x squared plus 18 x minus is it minus 7? Yeah, minus 7. Okay, so dapat yung maximum point natin, dapat yung max, the maximum of the function should be, yun yung sa computation natin dito, 320. Okay, tignan natin sa taas. Okay, kung makikita nyo, oh, parang obvious ito yung maximum. No? Yeah. And they, to check, let's see if the tangent is really a horizontal line. So, click natin to, Click natin yung tangent tool. Click natin yung function and click the point. Okay? So, yan yung ating tangent. It's a horizontal line. Siyempre, pag minub natin yung function, nag-iba yung tangent. Yan, nag-iba rin yung slope. But at 320, no? 320, which is this coordinates, Three twenty, to yung three yung x natin, tapos yung y natin. Three twenty, siya ay uh, horizontal and therefore the slope is equal to zero, no? which means that it's the maximum of the function. Okay, so sana ay may natutunan kayo dito sa ating uh, uh, video. Uh, gusto ko yung invite sa ating YouTube channel. Subscribe ka na, mar marami pa tayo i-discuss, no? Uh, nagsimula pa lang tayo sa calculus, di pa tayo Alam pa nga tayong integral, no? Uh, we have our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash sip9ph, and our website. So, kung nagustuhan nyo yung video na to, kindly uh, click the the like button, no? And of course, I invite you to subscribe. Uh, but kung gusto nyo mag-feedback, pwede kayo mag-feedback kasi kung makikita nyo bago yung resolution ng video natin, uh, 720p na siya. I don't know, medyo siguro mabagal yan kasi syempre mas mataas na yung resolution, but uh, I think yan na yung standard ngayon and this is just a test. No? So kung sa tingin nyo na masyadong mabagal, babalik ko siya sa dati. No? Maraming salamat. I'll see you in the next tutorial.